hello welcome to my channel again my name is Vanessa and today we are going to do a perfume collection video recently my taste and perfume has been changing a little bit I've noticed that I've been shifting more towards warmer scents but I used to be a fresh scent type of girl I like that's like the only type of scent that I would like I didn't like anything sweet um, so I have a little blend of both, but I would say I have more fresh perfumes. Um, I have quite a few of them to get through, so hopefully this video won't be too long, but I hope that you enjoy it. And uh, let's get started. Collection. This is the Michael Kors Glam Jasmine perfume. This one is not too expensive, um, but it smells very strong definitely has that jasmine scent to it with like a tiny bit of musk maybe. It's definitely a floral perfume. Another fresh scent that I have, and this is actually my second purchase of this one, is the Versace Bright Crystal. As you can see, this one has like really beautiful packaging. This one's the big one. I'm pretty sure this is the, yeah, this is the 6.7 ounce. I ended up getting this one after my boyfriend had gotten me the three ounce one and I just fell in love with it so much that I just wanted a bigger bottle and my mom likes this one a lot as well. So Versace Break Crystal I would say is less sweet than the Michael Kors one. Um, it smells very clean but it's not the type of clean where it'll be like like an old grandma kind of like too musky clean um I I don't know I feel like this fragrance like is probably more common than I thought because when I smell it I feel like I can think of a lot of people that would smell like this um so I would say it's like a very universal type of scent in my opinion because it, it smells it smells young but at the same time I could see an older woman using it as well and I don't know I just think this is a really nice classic if you want a fresh perfume but you don't want something that just smells like musk because I mean musky smells are nice but sometimes I, f I personally feel like they can smell a little bit older um, but this one is very nice definitely more of like a classic fresh smell that I think um, a lot of people could pull off. This one I'm running low on already, but this is the Chance from Chanel. It's the pink one. I don't know how to say it, but I'll list down the names of these perfumes in the description box if you guys are interested. Chance is a fresh smell for sure. And I would say this one smells softer than Versace. It's definitely more of a youthful scent and it's a lot lighter. So if you want something light and soft, I would say this is a good option that I just described. I feel like they have lasted um, a pretty good amount of time. I would say especially the Versace and the Chanel. The Michael Kors last, but something about the Versace and the Chanel just stick better to the clothing, I feel. Um, like compared to some time ago, I had the crystal from Kim Kardashian it was like the gardenia scent and I loved it like I loved how it smelled but it just would not last on me and even though it's not an expensive perfume like I would buy it again because it's not expensive and just to like wear it for every day but that one really just did not last um and I could tell right away but these three that I just mentioned these I, I think are worth buying and they will last a good amount of time and speaking of Chanel I have Gabriel from Chanel. This is a more recent purchase um, and I love it. It smells, it has that Chanel element to it, but it's lighter. It doesn't feel as heavy perhaps. If you don't want to get the classic Chanel, I think that Gabriel really is a good choice. And as far as durability, I mean, I feel like it lasted pretty well. Um, this is a newer one from them. I did, oh this, sorry, I just noticed that it says Essence. I don't know if that's the name as well. Um, when I was purchasing this one, I read reviews that 
the first version, I think they have two versions of this one. I think the first version, people were complaining that it wasn't lasting long enough, um, which I think that you're not going to beat the number five like the original. That lasts so well. I've had that one as well, so that's why I'm saying. Um, but this one is definitely more modern, but it still has that Chanel note in there that I can... I don't remember exactly what the name of this one is, but it is from Coach. This one is very fresh, like super fresh. If you like, if you like smelling super clean, this is definitely for you. This is more of a musky type of fresh. The Coach one I was wearing today actually, and truthfully, I don't think I can smell it anymore. And I literally just sprayed it like maybe two hours ago. So I don't know if that one stays on very long. Next up is the is a Prada perfume. The packaging on this one is so pretty. I really I really like it. I don't know. I think it's just so elegant and it's very different. It's just like the shape and just like the material that it's made out of. This one I purchased more recently and let me tell you I've grown to like it a lot, but in the beginning when I got it, it definitely was not what I expected. I don't know. I don't know if this ever happens to you guys, but sometimes some perfumes are just too much for certain days. This one is so soft. It's so comfortable to wear. The best way that I could describe it is like you just got out of the shower and you put like Baby Johnson's lotion on your hands. Yeah, that's really, that's really how I can describe it. It's that type of soft smell, but it's so comfortable to wear because of that. And I can, I can still smell this on myself after a while sometimes. I find that this one pairs really well with my deodorant for some reason. And recently I got my boyfriend um, Dolce & Gabbana Intenso perfume or cologne. And I feel like that is kind of like the guy version of this one. Here we have Coco Noir from Chanel. I mean, this packaging is just Chanel is Chanel. Like the history that they have in the market and just the history behind the owner, like the Coco Chanel, the person, like to me is like fascinating. Um and I mean, Chanel is just it's one of those things that I feel like every girl should have in their collection because it's so it's such a classic. This one here smells definitely warmer. It's definitely like the number five with like a warmer scent. I could see this one being more appropriate for nighttime, but if you don't like uh, kind of like the harsh freshness of the number five, then I can see this one being a better option for you. Mademoiselle, I had that one too. It's more youthful for sure. Um, and... All I remember from that one is that it was more of like a powdery soft smell. It wasn't as harsh as the number five. So I would say, I would say the number five is the strongest. And then Gabrielle is kind of like next. It's like a lighter version of that one. Aside from the actual lighter versions of the number fives, because there's various uh, versions of them. The only real difference I think between them is how intense they are. Um... And then after that one, I would say the Mademoiselle is a little bit more powdery soft. And then after that one, I would say that the Noir is definitely warmer. So I don't know if that makes sense, but that's just how I would rank them. I've heard the term spicy being referred to perfumes, and that didn't really make sense to me until I got this one right here. This is from Carolina Herrera. It's the Good Girl Perfume, and the packaging, guys, I mean, you can see it. Like, it is beautiful. I'm honestly going to tell you guys that I got this one, or I, my boyfriend got me this one, but I asked him for it just because of the packaging. I have to spray this pretty far away because the sprayer is really nice. It, like, sprays it so lightly that it actually, like, flies everywhere. And then somehow it always ends up going up my nose, like, in a really uncomfortable way. So that's why I don't wear this one as much. 
Um, I think that it's good that the spritzer is like that, but it's definitely sweet, but in the beginning when you first smell it, there's like a spice to it. I, it's so weird. Like you really just have to smell it because when I smell this one, I literally feel something in the back of my nose that like reacts to this. It's super strange. That's why I don't wear this one very often. But if you want something really sweet that is going to last, I do recommend this one. This one lasts pretty well. But it's a strong, a strong sweet perfume. Like this, this is definitely for a woman who looks like she's got her sh together, okay? This one is the Marc Jacobs Decadence perfume. This has got the cutest packaging as well. Like, I really don't know if I like this one or the Carolina Herrera better. They're both adorable. And this is another really strong one. Uh, but this one, I would say, it's like a light type of sweet. But it lingers. I, had pe I saw some people describing this one smelling like licorice and... I you know what, I personally don't like licorice at all, like I hate it, but it doesn't, I think that because it's softer, I do like it, I can pull it off, but this one's a very interesting smell, so if you want something different, then I would say this one's pretty nice. This is like one of the sweeter ones that I wear the most often. This is from Juicy Couture. And I just love this one. Before I started getting into sweet scents, I thought that this one was like very sweet. And so I wouldn't wear it that much. But lately I find myself wearing it a lot more. And I wear it more casually. I think that this is a fun one. It's not extremely like candy sweet. And um, I don't know. I want to describe it as like amber, but I might be wrong. Like I would have to look into the notes and stuff. But that one is nice for sure. And it's not very expensive either. This one I really like, and as you can see, I'm getting low on it. This is from Givenchy. It's the Dahlia Divine. Divine. This is a smaller one. I don't know if they sell this one in a bigger size. Just as with Chanel, you can tell which perfumes are from the brand Chanel just by smelling them. Givenchy has that same element to them. I've noticed that about them. And... I don't know what it is, but I love it. Like, I really want to get more from this line. Yeah, it's definitely a floral sweet, which is, I feel, kind of rare to find. The majority of, like, sweet perfumes are more, like, like, amber type of sweet or, like, really sweet, sweet, like, candy sweet, like the bonbon. Um, but this one's, like, nectary type of sweet. <laughs> I feel like I'm so repetitive in this video, but it's very hard describing it. I really like this one. I like it a lot. I, I'm running low on it, and I feel like it's expensive for the size. Um, so I try to use it just like every now and then, but I really like that one. I like wearing that one like in the summer when I want something sweet, but it still has like a little bit of that softer element to it. And a newer one that I have that is very sweet too, is the C from Giorgio Armani. This one, I'm surprised I like because it's not what I expected. It's definitely sweeter than I expected when I ordered it, but it smells, this one I can see, it's, I, I can see how it smells more like, like it reminds me of candy, but it's not so overpowering that I can't handle it. It's the more elegant type of sweet because it's subtle um, but I feel like it doesn't last as long as these other two that I'm going to mention right now. These are my favorite. This is the C. As you can see, I'm actually running low on both of them. Um, this is the intense version of this one. And this, I have found, is my signature fragrance. I feel like for the longest time, I was looking for something that was warm, but it wasn't too sweet and it wasn't too fresh because I feel like fresher scents on me don't last as well. I feel like a warmer scent tends to stick better 
uh, just like with my body chemistry. This one for the winter time is just like, ugh, I just love it. I can't stop using it. Even my mom, she is a total fresh gal. Like she only likes fresh perfumes. She's all about the Chanel's. And she still wears this one a lot, especially the black one, the intense version. Um, and I really, I'm really thinking about getting uh, the six ounce. Apparently there's a six ounce in this one. And I mean, I like it that much because I feel like this is me in a bottle. They have a red one in their line as well. I've smelled that one in person and I hated it actually. To me, it smelled like old perfume. Yes. But C from Giorgio Armani, my favorite. My favorite perfume of all time until I find another one to replace it, but I really don't think so. That one and the Givenchy one to me and the Prada one that I mentioned, I feel like those are my go-tos right now. The Juicy Couture. I guess I can say that I'm pretty open to trying uh, different scents. And I really just enjoy wearing a different perfume every day. And I love when people ask me like, oh, what are you wearing? I think the perfumes that I've had moments like those have been with a Versace Bright Crystal, um, the Chance from Chanel. That one definitely, like one of my coworkers actually asked me and she ended up buying it. Although on her, she said it didn't smell the same. Um, like I said, body chemistry really does depend on it, so you kind of have to try different perfumes out and stuff. But yeah, I think we've reached the end of this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. I'm sorry if I sounded a little repetitive. It's actually very hard to describe these perfumes or just how something smells. Hopefully once this whole COVID situation is over, you can go to a store and smell it for yourself. But I just thought it would be fun to film a video showing you guys my perfume collection. As you can see, I have uh, quite a few, I would say. Um, and yeah, comment down below what your favorite perfume is. Um, because, like I said, I love trying out new perfumes. And any recommendation would be great. I hope you have a good day. And see you next time. Bye!